For this lesson, we will discuss Lenz's law, which is the direction of the induced current. So, starting from the beginning, if you have a flux, remember the flux is the number of lines passing through an area. And if I increase the flux, what will happen? Increasing the flux, as you may remember, will induce a current. But we need to know whether it's going to go up this way, like this, or it will come down this way, like this, whether it's going to be clockwise or anti-clockwise. If you look at it this way, if we pick this one and we ended up saying that, then that means we have another field going up. It'll add to this field. But then that's increasing the flux again, which means the current will increase. If the current increases, there'll be more lines pointing up. If there's more lines pointing up, the flux is increasing. So then the current will increase and it will continue and continue and continue, which is wrong. This will violate the law of conservation of energy. So Lenz's law states that it will be going in the opposite direction. If my flux is getting stronger, bigger, like this, it will want to oppose it. It will want to reduce it, to cancel it out. If it was getting weaker, of course, it will want to make it stronger again. It wants to like, keep everything balanced. So the magnetic field of the induced current will oppose any change in the magnetic flux. And we can use the right-hand rule to help us figure it out. So I've mentioned the life hack in the class for you. If the field is getting stronger, the induced field will be in the opposite direction. If the field is getting weaker, the induced field will be in the same direction to keep things balanced. And I did a little shortcut there for you as well. Into the page or downwards B means it will be a clockwise current. Or if the, the field is coming out of the page or upwards, we know that there will be counterclockwise current. You can figure this out using the right-hand rule. Let's just pick this one out of the page, for example. How do I know this is clockwise or counterclockwise? Well, if I take my thumb and I point my thumb towards me, this is my hand, that's my thumb, you will see that my fingers are curling around like this. You can try it yourself. And four. This is coming towards me. This is my face. This is the B. And look what's happening to the current. Look at the direction of my fingers. How does that look? If I do this and follow my fingers, what is this? Well, that's counterclockwise, right? That's how I know. And if I point my, my thumb in the opposite direction, away from me, and I look at how my fingers will look, they are pointing in the clockwise direction. So you just see the way your fingers curl. That will help you understand. So starting with an example here, the magnetic field is increasing. This magnetic field, I have said, is increasing, which means right now this X, if you remember this X, it means going into the page. So if I'm saying it's increasing, I am getting more X's going into the page. More X's going into the page. So what does that mean? It means it's getting stronger. More X's getting stronger. That means the induced field must be opposite. Okay. So opposite of into the page is, of course, out of the page. The field should be coming out of the page, dots instead. So back to life hack, out of the page, counterclockwise current. And I can see that by pointing the thumb to myself, and I will realize that the current will flow like this. It will go in this direction, in this ring, like that. There are four possible cases when it comes to a magnet entering because it depends whether the north or the south is entering the field. You need to remember what a magnet field looks like. Let's say I had the north over here and let's say I had the south over here. From before, you know that the field comes out of the north and it goes into the south. Out of the north and into the south. Yes? Into the south. So depending on which part of the magnet is entering or leaving, that's the area that we take. So I'm going to look at this part only for this example here. The north, the field is going this way. It's coming in. It's getting stronger. The induced field must be in the opposite direction because it's getting stronger. And then if you do that and you point your thumb to the right, if I point my, if I point my thumb to the right, my fingers will curl around like this. My fingers will come down like this behind this wire or whatever and you can see that straight away from this my current is coming down 
okay? And you can call this clockwise or whatnot, but that's how it works. Um, if the north is leaving, remember this left arrow is pointing to the left, it's leaving, it's getting weaker, so the induced B will be in the same direction. Looking at the south, the north and the south is different. Look at the south here. This is going like this. This is the field line going to the right. And if this is leaving, it's getting weaker, so the induced field will be in the same direction. And then again from that you can use the right hand rule and figure out where the current will go and we'll realize the current will be coming down this way because my thumb is pointing to the right. And conversely, if this south pole is entering the magnet, so of course the fuel line goes like this, but it's entering, it's getting stronger because it's getting closer, which means the induced B will be in the opposite direction. My thumb is pointing to the left and my fingers are going up and around like that. So looking at this example, let's figure this out. We have a magnet leaving. It goes into the south, out of the north. And again, I am only talking about this part because this is the side that's closest to my coil. So I wanted to figure this out. It's going to the left and it's leaving, it's getting weaker. So my B induced will be to the left as well. Same. And if my thumb is pointing to the left, my hands are pointing up and away from me. And if I do that, my thumb is pointing to the left, my hands are pointing up and away from me. I'm not very good at drawing this, but something like this is how it would look. There you go. That's my hand. There's a hair on my hand. My thumb. And that means my current will be going like this. It'll be going up. And that's what my current will be doing. Okay. And over here, and when it's in the middle, there will be nothing at all. Uh, it's in the middle, then there's no more movement. It's stationary, nothing. There is no induced speed. And now let's look at this one. If the north is entering, so that's the fuel line coming that way, of course, into the south. But again, I'm only going to look at this part alone. Pointing to the left, same thing. Now look at this. It's going to the left. It's getting stronger, which is actually not the same thing because it's getting stronger, which means it will be going to the right. This will be my induced B. My induced B, and I look at my hand, I can see my fingernails, which means it will be coming down like this, the current. So that's how you would do it. Your thumb will be pointing to the right and you can see your hands coming down. So then that's what's happened. So there's my nails right here. There you go. That's the palm of my hand. And that's how it works. So fingers are coming down like this. And in this case, if you want to find the magnetic field and current, let's see what's happening. I am taking this line. I am moving it to the left, which means this field, the area is getting smaller. My area is getting smaller. My field is getting weaker. That's not good. The current doesn't like it. If my field is getting weaker, it must be the same direction, same direction, which means it will be going into the page as well. And if I do that, and if I point my finger, my thumb into the page, my fingers are coming around like this, like claws. I have no idea how I've done this. I've messed this up. I've messed that up completely. Thumb. Well, almost that's not even a hand. Uh, how can I do this? This is my finger, like this. My next finger, also like this. I think this is a bit better. Four. And then my thumb is pointing that way. There you go. Something like that. Yeah, that's better. There you go. This is my fingers. And look at the direction of my fingers. What is this? This is clockwise. So that means my current will go clockwise around like this easy so there's three steps that you can take to solve this the first step is you find the direction of the change in the flux is it getting stronger or is it getting weaker and then from that you'll decide the direction of the induced field is it in the same direction or opposite direction and then you can find the direction of the current using the right hand rule um, and seeing whether it's going to be clockwise counterclockwise or anything like that this will apply to a reel apply to a magnet anything like this and there's a nice little remedial clip on lenses as well that you can see.